Hello, I'm Mark Fox, and welcome to the Slides of Fox video newsletter. Today I want to share a telephone conversation I had with Jeffrey Hedquist, who's one of the leading experts in radio. He had some unique insights into my latest book, Da Vinci and the 40 Answers. Jeffrey is like the radio commercial guru. I mean, he, he's got books and CDs, and he's a columnist in you know, what, dozens of different publications and magazines, and I think earn something like a thousand awards or something over your lifetime in radio. And so it, it, this guy is really, really the guy. Um, I've listened to a lot of his commercials and um, the ones that he's written and produced, and they're awesome. Uh, it, most of them are funny, and, and at least all of them are memorable, which, of course, is you know important for a radio commercial, right? So <laughs> thanks, for, thanks for joining us today, Jeffrey. I really appreciate it. Well, it's fine. But after that introduction, I don't think there's anything I can say. So thanks very much, Mark. <laughs> we can hang up now. <laughs> yeah, yeah well, that's fine. Yeah, <laughs> yeah I, I know, Jeffrey, you read uh, Da Vinci and the 40 Answers. I know you read it recently. And uh, I know you've used the principles for years. Like a lot of the great creative people have, have used those concepts, but they didn't really even re even before they've learned about Triz or anything else. And it's just something that comes naturally to them. Can, can you talk about maybe a few concepts or principles that you saw in the book, which are things you've used, you know, for, for years? Yeah, no, there are a number of them. The nice thing about the book is you've taken things that people have used for years okay. and you've codified them. You've, you've made them clear. So it's like, oh, yeah, I kind of do that. Well, here's a better way to do it. So uh, there's some real advantage um, that, that you've done there. And uh, a couple of them that come to mind is peel the onion, of course, which okay. is a... a I actually used that phrase, and I'm sure I stole it from you, so thank you very much. <laughs> um, and because uh, I talk to marketers, you know, and I talk, or I talk to people who should know how to market, you know, business people. And uh, one of the key questions is to get away from, obviously, talking about benefits. They're talking about features. Talk about benefits. Uh, and peeling the onion is one way to do that. And I use yeah, okay. peeling the onion a, a number of different ways. For instance... If you're uh, working with a client, or even if you are the client, and you come up with an idea, for a, let's say for a commercial, and so you come up with the idea, and you say, okay, here, here's the what. Now, ask yourself, so what? Uh, and then answer okay. that. And then treat that as the what. So you go back and forth. So <clears throat> you've got a uh, computer system, a combination of hardware and software. Fabulous, fabulous project. And it's, you know, how to manage your contacts, how to track everything. It's really very comprehensive. And so you talk about, um, you know, here you, this, it does this, and you no longer have to have things on pieces of paper and file cards, and you no longer have to have things in different places in your computer. It's all in one place. So that when somebody calls, all the information is there. Mm, and then okay. you ask yourself, so what? Well, the so what would be, well, okay, now I'm better organized. I can talk to my customers like I'm really intelligent. Uh, number three, I can find out what they bought, how often they bought, when to you know, talk to them again. I've got all the information with them. So what? Well, it makes me, in their minds, more knowledgeable, more caring about them as individuals, not just a salesperson. Right. Uh, and number, you know, so what? Well, I, everything becomes much more efficient. So what? Well, that means I can do more business in less time. So what? Well, that means I can, you know, re retire sooner. So what? What do you mean, so what? <laughs> <laughs> right. And so what you do is you keep asking the so what until something jumps out at you and you say, ah, that's you, the core benefit. Until you that's find the nugget, deal. right? <clears throat> Absolutely. Okay. And that will, that will work for um, finding benefits. It'll work for finding. Uh, uh, it'll work for finding a, a core um, thing that will motivate your kid when you're talking to them about getting better grades or doing better in school. It'll work for almost any audience. Okay, and that is excellent. What so what? Yeah. Excellent. A any other ones? Any other examples or something that you've used that besides? There are many. We'll only be able to cover a few here, but sure, uh, sure. Clear as mud. Okay. And that is the what if. If you're creating a commercial, doing marketing coming up with a new idea, trying to reinvent yourself. I always say, well, ask yourself, what if? Okay, what if there were no more pizza places? Mm. You know, or what if pizzas came in different shapes? Or what, and you just keep doing that. <clears throat> what it will do is it will, again, 
take your mind out of whatever rut it was in. Right. And, and all right. these things are designed to basically lurch you out of the box. And the, the box is the one we put ourselves in. We're so uh, we're so occupied with uh, right brain or left brain stuff every day. Right, right. So, I mean, if you had to boil it down to what's one, what's the one secret you've had for all your creativity and all the great radio commercials you've produced? If you had to boil it down to one thing, does anything come to mind? Really strong c- coffee. <laughs> okay. 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 But other than that, um, I, I don't know if there's one. You know, Mark. Uh, I think it's. Um, I think it's a combination of a lot of the things you've <clears throat> got in here. It's ha- having having a lot of tools in your toolbox and just trying to, different things, to, right? Yeah, how to take and lever yourself out of the box you're in. Okay, okay. When I'm talking to a client, I say, okay, <clears throat> what you want to do is you want to come up with a commercial or an advertising piece or a marketing piece or a business that's different than everybody else. So yeah. how can you go 180 degrees away from what everybody else is doing? Let's see what they're doing. Okay, that one is singing, one's doing this, one's doing this. What could you do that's totally different? And, and that, that's one of the, that's lens number 13 of the trees lenses, which is the other way around, which is a, a lot oh, of. okay, great. Yeah, Good a lot of see. people have used that, you know, that um, Kerry Mullis, who won the Nobel Prize, actually, that's, you know, he's never heard of trees, but that's what he's naturally done, is looked at things from the other way around to figure out how to solve it. So, okay. Um, and so I think anything you can do to, to move yourself out of that. And it could involve uh, the things we've talked about, these little techniques. could involve going to the gym, taking a walk, going to the mountains, you know, reading a book you've never read, uh, going to the, uh, <clears throat> going to the uh, bookstore or the supermarket, and picking up books you've never read before. Right. Point, guns and ammo, you know. <laughs> right. Horses, you know, whatever. Um, you know, stuff that, well, this is obviously not for me, this is for grandmothers who hunt bison. Okay, what's that about? Huh. And, that, you know, that's what I've always done. When I'm in an airport, I will mm. basically close my eyes in the bookstore, and I'll just grab one. I won't give oh, it any cool. thought. And that's what I do to just try and expand my thinking. So, Yeah. And it's amazing because each one of these things is deep into some niche. You know, button collecting. Who knew? You know, <laughs> and what is it that turns these people on? Well, you know, I take a look at it. I pack it away. The next day, I'm doing a consultation for a client. They say, okay, i got a sewing center <clears throat> in Sioux Falls. And, uh, you know, they specialize not only in the sewing and the, and the, you know, quilts, but they got button collectors. Well, lo and behold, I've got this little bit of knowledge about these maniac button collectors. Here's what turns them on. Right, right. So it's, like, all useful. Okay, that's, that's awesome, awesome insight. Uh, any, any last comments for listeners or readers or any insight? Um, you know, we've only, we've only talked about a few of these things, but um, in, 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 as, as I say, there's not just one. <clears throat> but whatever it takes to uh, to lurch yourself out will will work. Um, I think it's uh, you know as a as a shameless plug. I think it's worth somebody getting the book because um, there's there's things that you hadn't thought of out there uh, that you will probably do once you get reminded of some of these things. And and the nice thing about it, and I always advocate telling stories. Okay, that's my whole thing. I'm known as advertising storyteller. Well. That's what Mark has done. He's told stories for each one of these things. So you kind of get it. He makes each one of these sticky with a story or two or three. And uh, and that's what makes them assimilable. Okay. And that's what I tried to do. So. Well, I hope some of Jeffrey's insights and comments were helpful for you. Thanks again for joining me on the Slice Fox video newsletter. Catch you next time. <laughs>